Well, I've got a punch in my hand, and it's time to, time to make it hard. We'll uh, heat it up to a cherry red, quench it in water, and then it'll have to be tempered in order to be struck with a hammer without breaking. Oh, before I forget, I'm going to put a little, uh, a little ochre on the end of the punch in order to keep it from the face from burning with the extreme temperature. idea is to keep oxygen away from the face. The part that matters most is the part where the letter is. And because of the reflected heat, it's really getting hot up there. I'm going to get ready. It's starting to look orange. It's getting pretty bright. Okay, I'm going to grab it. See, she's really hot now. See that? Okay, now that we've hardened this thing, it's all blackened with, with uh, fire scale, that'll be cleaned off, and then we're going to go ahead and temper the punch, which will be done at our furnace. The punch has been cleaned up and it's all smooth and shiny now. And that's important because we're going to temper the punch in my hot type metal, right at the pot here where, we're, where we cast type. There's other ways to do it, but this method makes for a punch that's hard at the face and soft at the hammer end, and it's less liable to split or to break. Punches, if they're not tempered, are very likely to chip or break, and that's a bad thing. So uh, right now I'm going to put this uh, metal, this punch in the metal with the tail end in the hot metal. I'm going to watch for the color on the sides, and when I see a straw color, I'm I'm going to quench it to stop it. I begin to see a little color, just peeking up from the metal. You see a blue. And the, the yellow is very pale. I'm always terrified of getting it too soft. It looks like a rainbow. Blue, purple. And right at the top is the yellow. And it's going to be really soon now. Okay, yellow's coming. It's coming real soon. I want to move very quickly. Right about now. The steel is very easily done by bringing it to a cherry color. It's very hard to know the precise uh, degree of hardness, and the only clue for that is this color that appears on the surface. If it turns blue, it's way too soft. This is the exciting moment. We're going to take this finished punch, it's been tempered, and we're going to drive it into a piece of copper. In this case, it's uh, been marked as to the position uh, where the letter should be, and we'll position it um, very meticulously. Hope it's upright. I'll give it a light tap. And I'll look and see if it looks straight. Now it's a little off. I'm going to Twist it just slightly. Okay. Okay, that looks pretty good. Now I just feel that it's back in the same place where it was. I just feel that. Then I whomp it in. A matrix well struck is half justified. Well, right now it seems to be very level, so I'm going to stop. I think it's deep enough and it looks pretty level, so that's important. That's striking a matrix. This is the punch with which we struck this piece of copper, and it's called a strike. This is a partially fitted matrix in which the sides have been trued up and the face is flattened. This one has been finished to the exact correct depth, so that combined with a mold we get type high type. 